The purpose of this video, Endanger the Human Race, is to provide an alternative view about humanity based in actuality and to challenge the negative and deceitful perspective given by the establishment. This presentation is meant to be a summary that guides the viewer to key people and events to begin research. It is not intended as a substitute for your own investigation of fact. In this video, you will see an ancient version of Ancestry.com, which its leaves show humans have never been alone. You will observe that humans are more special and in far fewer numbers than you imagined. In order to show the predicament the human race is in, first it will help you to examine biblical genealogy, the orig origins, and the relationships between three primary kinds of man. Here, the mother of all is the common denominator to first the serpent seed and then humans. So before the flood, biblical genealogies in order of chronology include Cain's and Adam's bloodline, and in the days of Jared, the Nephilim appeared. Note that by the time we get to Noah, there were potentially billions of people on the planet. However, human numbers were dropping until a handful was all left remaining when the flood finally came. Here we continue with Noah, the wives he chose for his sons and his three sons. So let us follow the bloodline of Shem and see where it leads. Shem had Arpachshad, who had Canaan, who had Shelah, who had Eber, who the word Hebrew was derived. Eber had Peleg, who had Re Reu, who had Serug who had Nahor, who had Abraham. Abraham had Isaac, who had Jacob, who had 12 human tribes. Wait, human? From a biblical standpoint, the direct line from Adam and Eve represents the so-called human, although the word does not appear whatsoever in Holy Scripture. So where does human come from? Let's take apart the word and look for clues. We can see the word hue means color. Were the Hebrew people renamed? First, let us view Cain's lineage after the flood. These are Japheth's sons. His son Gomer, whose son was Ashkenaz, this is where we get the Ashkenazi Jews. Next, back to the 12 tribes. The 10 lost tribes can account for most humans today. Uh, the other two are the Shemite Jews. 
with a population of 16 million. And a special thanks to Champion Productions, Black Mill, and Rob Curran. But mostly, thank you. Thank you.